uh, Michael Phelps, he has done it again. Another two goals to the tally, and he has now officially become the most winning Olympic athlete ever. So, and the U.S. women's field hockey team got eliminated from medal contention after a scoreless draw with Britain. Now, we've also learned that gymnastics can be a little tricky. We've got, yes, a gymnastics scoring controversy. Good morning, guys. You know, the Olympics did not end with Michael Phelps and his record eight medals. There's still lots of good stuff going on, and plenty of Americans have something to celebrate. Good evening from the Italian Alps. The Italians call it neve, we call it snow, the athletes call it a mess. Mother Nature is putting the winter into the Winter Olympics. Three of the top ski jumpers in the world give us their insight into what goes through your mind when you're soaring through the air at 60 miles per hour. It is 603. Look at that. It is spectacular. We need sunblock on our necks. Yeah. <laughs> it's <so bright. laughs> you can text it or tweet it to the chalkbot, and then you'll get an email. If they pick your message to uh -huh. chalk on the streets, you'll get an email and they'll give you the GPS coordinates so you can check out your message after it's actually put on there. And they'll just be up there, you know, a day ahead, they'll be on the course putting these messages out there. The French are going to go bats. Two more types of lettuce. Was this one again? Broccoli. Broccoli. Yeah, it doesn't look anything like broccoli. <laughs> a bike bell is a necessity since it might actually save your life, since neither cyclists nor pedestrians have any rights when it comes to crossing streets in this country. Getting the Chinese to sample an American franchise is key, but as in the U.S., listening to the customer's tastes and preferences is what will make a place successful. Mm. This is my favorite story of the day. The nine-year-old girl just wowed the world. Billions of people around the planet watching her sing this amazing song. It was called Ode to the Motherland. Should have been called Ode to Millie Vanilli because it turns out she lip -sinks. You guys have all kinds of amazing cycling races around the world, but every single one of you says the Olympics is just a different gig. It is. It's special. We're here competing for our nations. And your stepdad says your mom was an absolute wreck. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> a lot of Northern California on this boat. Um, why yeah. do you think Why do you think that there's something within Northern California that's produced so many great Olympic athletes? It's in the water, man. <laughs> Emily Hughes is so excited to be here. She says she could do a triple toe loop. That's exactly what U.S. women's figure skating is hoping the 17-year-old will do. The Olympic Zone's Jeff Hart reports Team USA is hoping that gold runs in the Hughes family. I could be any happier. It's likely you'll see more of Todd after the Olympics. Word is that Donald Trump wants to put an Olympian on The Apprentice. Todd was shocked to find out he's now up for a job he never even applied for. So I jumped at the chance to find out why the Great Wall is such a great draw for all these Olympic visitors. It stands as one of man's most impressive do-it-yourself projects, the Great Wall of China. Number two, chopsticks, a necessity to eat in this country, but make sure you don't poke your food like a fork, and while you can talk with your hands, do not talk with your chopsticks, because that is incredibly rude. We all have cysteine in our cells. Patrick and Jenna lack an amino acid that gets the cysteine out of their cells. Cystinosis is so rare that that's one crayon for every single person in this country who has it. And I didn't have to buy too many boxes. We're only talking about 300 people. The only time I get to stand on top of the podium, which may or may not be completely set up at this point. This is where the governor will be announcing the winners and where you'll see all the action after those riders cross the finish line. And here for the final is Deirdre. All right, guys, get ready for an amazing shot. Mike Reinhardt is out there on the road. He's got the ground shot. He will have those winners crossing the finish line, and he will be just feet away. The first motorcycle has just gone through the finish line. Second motorcycle. Cycle should be here any second, and here they come. Listen in. CSC. On behalf of the city of Sacramento, can we have this back next year? Uh, it would be great to come back to Sacramento. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But at Temple Cafe, Can I get a drink started for you? it's also in the cup. Star out of the fridge. From carbonation comes inspiration. And while we all have access to the same 26 letters of the alphabet, somehow Jim Chakowsky scrabbleizes them better than most. The whole completely seamless. The interior feels like butter and never gets hot. The ride, nice boat. like speed racer with a life jacket. They were some of the taller wallers on this day. Made it. How about if you just spread out your arms? It's the Great Wall. Even Kara Lawson's wingspan can't explain just how great the Great Wall is.